What was it like working with the real Monica Lewinsky on this, and what insight was she able to provide? Because now she's getting to tell her story through her own perspective. Yeah. Monica and I became friends, I would say good friends, um, and she only recently told me through uh, the Los Angeles Times that she was sort of terrified that I was going to betray her, um, because I think it's probably not... Um, super exciting to to find intimacy with the actress playing the person who basically is the the reason why your life sort of unraveled um, but she was incredibly generous with her time um, she let me pepper her with questions I tried to be respectful by not over asking things particularly about Linda because I felt like that might just be like picking an old wound but she was incredibly forthcoming and just game as could be and, and, a, and a really wonderful producer and a, and a great partner in all this. Well, what is an example of a common misconception about this scandal that Monica was really able to clarify through telling her, uh, her story? Oh, God. That's an impossible question to answer while I'm wearing five-inch heels in the sweltering sun. Uh, because I think there are so many. I mean, that's sort of what the series does, I think, so beautifully, is that there are many, many opportunities that I, I hope the audience will think, oh, my God, I had no idea that that's what she endured and, or that that's who Linda really was or, you know, about any, any number of, of characters. I think the, the entire scope, the scope of the thing sort of allows for many of those opportunities. Well, talk about when Ryan came to you with this role. Initially, you weren't really interested about portraying Linda Tripp. What changed your mind for this? Well, I read the script. He sent me the script. Um, and once he sent the script and I read the part, it was, it was impossible to walk away from. Well, and then, I mean, the transformation, too. Talk about the transformation <laughs> going into this. Uh, it was a big undertaking, um, and it was a scary one, and... It was uh, something that I spent a lot of time with in terms of, I mean, of course there were the external components, but there was a lot of in internal uh, work that I had to do uh, psychologically to try to figure out how and why Linda did what she did because so much of it is kind of unfathomable. Um, so the good news is that there was a plethora of information to um, dive into, research, uh, video, all of it. So I was able to... I was able to do a really deep dive, which was great. Well, my last question for you. Talk to me about the accident, you know, where you broke your wrist right before shooting the tapes. You know, they offered you a body double, but you said no. Why is that? Uh, well, I had spent a lot of time working on my physicality as Linda and, and studying so much of her uh, physical self through, uh, like I said, through videos and things that I knew how I wanted to push the button. And I had my nails done in this French manicure for the last year. And I thought, if I'm going to have this on my hand, I damn well am going to use it. Um, it just felt like even a small detail, like the urgency with which Linda pushes the button or the hesitation that she has uh, when she stops recording, all of that stuff is still acting to me. And it still comes through your your physical self. And so I didn't want to let anybody else do that. Because I knew I'd watch it and be like, God damn it, that's not me. <laughs> Got to power through. Got to power through. Yeah. Perfect. Sarah, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it.